Oh my lord. Ugh, the immunity challenge today was just a disaster. Just a disaster. Um, what I heard was I was supposed to swim out and tie, there was four, a group of four knots, sets of four knots, and Tom lift the cage, go back, other tribe goes, and that there would be two cages that we'd eventually have to scooch down. And when I compete, I get tunnel vision. And that's what I heard, and that's what I did. And I did it as fast as I possibly could. And so apparently I was supposed to get the cage. And so I had to swim back out. And, you know, it's funny because I've been competing since I was six years old. And so for 47 years, you know, competition has been in my blood. And the only time in my entire life where I have lost anything for a team was on Survivor because I also screwed up in Survivor Australia and the food challenge. I, I lost that challenge for my team. And back then it was devastating to me because it was the first time I'd ever done that. And I just, I never expected this to happen to me yet again. And I don't know if I don't listen well or if it's just me getting older and my brain not working as good as it used to or what, but it's devastating. It is really, really hard because this is not a single individual thing. This is still a team and a tribe. And I, I, the food, you know, I would have loved to have had the food for the other tribe members and myself, but I, you know, I went 42 days with rice only in Australia. So to me, it's not a big deal with the food, but it breaks my heart because of the challenge. And, you know, tonight somebody's going home and, you know, if it was me, I'd say, okay, I deserve it. But if it's somebody else, I feel that sense of responsibility of somebody's game is over and it's in a large part due to me. And that is a tough pill to swallow. I, I don't like that feeling. I, you know, to me, I don't think it can get any worse out here. To me, that's the worst thing that could happen.